Well, hey guys, and welcome to the end of the night. Today, we're going to do a quick product review. I've been sent this product from Science Guy. It's a dual LED torch, green and white. So, let's get it onto the bench and we'll see what's in the box and see what it looks like. Okay, so here we go. Here's the torch in the box. There's a few optional accessories, a uh, figure eight clamp, and also a uh, um, it's a rat's tail switch, like a pressure switch sort of thing, but it's got one button there and also a momentary switch there. So it just screws under the back. But I'll show you what's inside the box. We've got well, some instructions, a bit of a few details in Chinese and in English. And there's the torch itself. Now straight off the bat, it's a really nice quality feeling torch. It's got a bit of weight to it. I did weigh it, it's about 369 grams with the battery. So it's not a little rubbishy plasticky thing anyway. Also comes with a USB-C or USB-A to USB-C cable to charge the battery. I'll show you that in a minute. There's a bit of a holster. It's not the best quality holster, but anyway, it'll probably hold the torch. The belt loop there. You can slide it in and out like that. And also they give you a few, a few spare O-rings to go on the, the tail cap and also a spare rubber for the button in case that one gets a hole in it or wears out and also a wrist strap so put all that non-important stuff aside and let's get into the torch so this is the H5 GT torch so it's green and white LEDs you can see there's a there's two LEDs in there and you just change the light by rotating the head and it rotates the LED onto the contact so it lights up. So you got white and green. The body of the torch is built from A6061 T6 aluminium aircraft grade aluminium. So it's got a tempered glass lens with a double sided coating. And yeah, so the operation of it, you got a button on the back here that switches it on. And there's a button on the side here. When you switch the first switch it on, it'll flash, it'll come on solid if it's um, 75 to 100%. But once it's below 75%, 75 to 75%, it'll flash green. And then 25 to 50% it'll um, be a red. And below that it'll flash red. And once it's down below 10%, I think it flashes every three seconds or something. So. Um, the run times on it, on high with the green, you get 1.6 hours run time, and on the white with the high turbo setting it's 1.4 hours, or on the low on the white one I think it's set 68 hours run time. So to change, there's your white, you can just turn it around, it goes to green, back to white. And to change your modes, you just press the button on the side here. It's low, medium, high, and turbo. And with your green, it's low, medium, and high. So high on the green, you're supposed to get 1300 meters of throw with a 2200 lumen output. And uh, high on the white is on turbo, it's about 2,000 lumen output and 1,000 meters of throw. So, yeah, the, also with the battery, it runs off one 21700 battery at a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. And to charge the battery, you got your USB-C, you plug that into your wall socket or wherever, computer, and the USB-C plugs into the end of the battery like that on the side and there's a 
little LED indicator in the end there when it's charging it'll come on and so the rat's tail switch pressure switch they call it so yeah there's your on off button there your big one and then there's a little one up here that's you just hold that and it's momentary momentary switch so you can still change your change your modes on the side so you go the pattern changes as you turn it around there you go it's onto the green and yeah it remembers the last the last mode it was on the memory remembers the last mode you had it on when you turn it back on so put the other cap back on but the threads are all nice smooth threads and they're lubricated as well with a lithium grease or something so yeah overall it's a nice deep reflector and it creates a really nice focused spot with a, just the right amount of spread but anyway we might take it out, I'll take it out later tonight and I'll show you how it performs in the dark ok so here's the cyan sky torch the H5GT torch I'm just going to shine it out here in the paddock now and show you what it, how it performs in the dark that target there, the gates there are about 25 metres for focus so then there's that's medium <coughs> with the white and then it goes to high and so you can see out there oh, there's a bush out there you can't really make it out but it's 150 metres away but I can see quite clearly with my eyes and there's turbo there see um, <clears throat> I'll see there's a power pole down there that'll be about or oh, at least 300 meters and you can see quite clearly there's trees down the background those trees down there about 400 meters away so you can quite see quite well and the fence there is about 15 meters 20 meters nearly that's on low and then there's that behind there um, there's a tree back over there which you can't quite make out with the camera but I can see it with my eyes now it's on medium it's high now you can start to see that tree and then there's turbo so that tree there is about 200 metres if I zoom in you can still see it out there still see the grass around there quite clearly if I pan around to the side a bit those trees down there with a power pole down there that's about oh, be close to 500 meters so yeah you can still see quite well but now if I switch it to green there's green light actually shows up a bit white in this camera but there's low medium so there's that tree over there which you can see quite well that's only it's medium if I go to high it's green look how well it stands out a little bit of dust in the air but so there you can see that power pole there quite clearly and if it'll focus, there you go. But at least 400 meters out of those trees, maybe a bit more. But so you can see quite clearly out to that distance. So yeah, it's a very powerful torch. Just in the green light. Even in the low, I could still see 
probably well enough to shoot a fox or something out at 150 metres with the green light on low. So it's not a bad little torch. Higher, and then you go and switch it to white. And high on turbo mode on a white. And then back to green. So yeah, pretty good torch. So I'm just going to wrap up my final thoughts on this Cyan Sky H5 GT green and white torch. I don't think I've really got any complaints about it. I love the, the reflector and once you can get your head around which way to turn this to change the, between the white and the green, yeah, it's not too hard. And the, it's got a good button on the back, the mode switch is very positive. It's got the battery indicator in the side of it as well. The lens is very transparent and a very good reflective in there. And it doesn't feel like a cheap, nasty torch. It feels like it's got a good solid body in it with that aircraft grade aluminium. So overall, I'm very, very happy with it. So thanks Cyan Sky for sending it out. I can def definitely recommend this to everyone. Uh, there, if you're in the market for a green torch or a white torch, or both, this is the one to go to. So this is a, by far the best green torch I've ever used, and it goes a long way in the night time. I'll leave a link in the description below. Go over there and check it out. There's a link to their website as well as a link to Amazon where you can go and buy it from there. I don't think you can buy it off their, their actual website. So at the time of this video, I think the price is about 200 and just over $200. So you can go and check that out. And they come, also comes with a five year warranty. So yeah, I'm very, very happy with the torch. So I can definitely recommend it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have enjoyed it. And if you got something out of this, go and check out the website and you want to see a bit more, read a bit and a few more details, just go over there and check them out. Anyway, I'll catch you all in the next video.